Today I want to talk about a new mini project that I'm working on. I was contemplating on whether I should even share this or not, but why not? I mean, I got 14 subscribers. It's not like anyone's rushing in to copy my work or anything. So, and I like to share my ideas. So an issue I've been having lately is with creating these thumbnails. So creating a YouTube video thumbnail is kind of a time consuming process. You have multiple layers you have to put together. You got to make sure that your text doesn't get in the way of the subject. You got to make sure that the colors pop out and the subject pops out and all that. Got to think about the color scheme and just the overall composition of that thumbnail. And that's really time consuming and I wondered if maybe there's a way to automate this. So there are websites out there that generate thumbnails like this but they just don't quite do it the way I want it to be done. They are a little bit complicated in my opinion. I want to make something simpler. So I decided why not try to build something like that myself. So let me go ahead and show you what this thing does. If I have a background image like this and I want to add some text to it, well I can run my app and it'll go ahead and generate a thumbnail for me. So you can see what it actually did is it took that background image, it added a gradient going from blue to transparent on top of that, and then it added some text on top of that. I'm using a third party library called Imagic, which is a binding, a wrapper around an old school C library called Image Magic from 30 years ago. It's kind of stood the test of time. It supports 200 different image formats and all these different operations for manipulating images, adding gradients and resizing and adding text and all that good stuff. So you saw that the gradient was blue. Let's change that to red. Okay, that's cool. Let's change the angle to negative 45 instead. Awesome, now it starts on this side. So that easily, just through code, we can generate these images. And these are not super awesome thumbnails, but they're passable. So I'm kind of happy with how far I've gotten so far. And I have some more ideas on top of that that I'll maybe share later. So this image magic library, it has all these different bindings. Uh, the original library was written in C, but there's like C++, Go, Java, JavaScript, TypeScript, .NET, PHP, Python, just about any language out there, there is a binding to be able to use the image magic code with that language, which makes it really convenient. So let's play around with this a little more and see what this thing can do. I'm going to go ahead and use the iPad background and then align the text to the right of the image, maybe a gray text. So I just tweaked the values a little bit to use the iPad background image changed up the gradient a little bit. I set the text to how to maximize your iPad productivity. And let's go ahead and see how this looks. And boom, that's not too bad at all, huh? Um, if I actually remove the gradient, it would probably be a little more clear. Boom, that's pretty cool. So now I just tweak the values again to use this background. And let's see how it looks. All right, so that looks kind of nice too. So, I mean, it just goes to show that just using some basic techniques to add contrast to the background and make the text pop out and just having an interesting background image to begin with, you can kind of get pretty far just based on some really simple rules. So that's it for now. As I make more progress, I'll post more updates. Uh, please like and subscribe and support a little YouTuber like myself. And thank you for watching.